Hi, I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorham, Maine. This is a really nice antique Chippendale Serpentine fall front desk. It's uh, 18th century, probably 1760 to 1790. It's made of uh, mahogany, I'm sure it's from the Caribbean, it could be Cuban mahogany. Uh, one notable thing about this desk, it is very, very heavy. The wood is extremely dense and extremely heavy. Overall, it's not in bad shape, but it's got a couple of problems. On the left rear foot, it's missing a block of wood altogether. I'll have to reproduce that. It's a block that goes behind the foot. And then on the sides, you'll see that this front board is getting pushed forward. There's cracks on both sides. The interior pieces of the drawer are pushing this out. You can see here the, the wide board that makes up the rail and the drawer runner behind. All those things have to be able to push back along with this front board. I may need to either move or cut this drawer runner to allow these pieces to move back where they belong. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the lid uh, so it won't be in the way and also to keep it safe. I'm going to put a clamp on this to see if this wants to move. I suspect it won't want to move because these interior pieces are being held in place. It actually has come together. Well, I'm going to put I'm going to put more clamps on it, maybe even get a longer piece here, and see if the whole thing comes to where I want it to be. Okay, I've clamped this up dry, and uh, it seems like it's going to go right back together. So I'll remove these clamps uh, and clean out that crack as best I can and glue it up. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll let this dry overnight and tomorrow do the other side. Okay, so we've put the desk on its back and now you can really see where this piece is missing over here. I got a big old uh, chunk of mahogany here, still got a little bit of the bark on it. It's very dense and very heavy, which reminds me of the mahogany that's in that desk, so uh, I think it ought to work pretty well. I'm going to use the, the shadow of the original piece. It's actually more like four and three quarters. Okay, this looks good. I think my next step will be to cut the scallops. I've determined these blocks are identical 
So I'm going to take my tracing from this block. Before I put my tracing on my block of wood to cut it, I really need to cut some of this curve first or my tracing won't fit on my piece of wood accurately. So I'm going to scrape all this old glue off, uh, position my block, and trace out that curve. Curve looks good. This curve has to come around and meet right under the desk. And I think I should try to get closer before I attach this piece. I don't want to damage the, the case trying to get close in there. All this time I've been fitting this, this leg has been a little bit loose and I've been holding it into position. I think that the next step before I go any further is to glue this leg. So this leg, although it's a little loose, I can see it's got a full tenon. I can see the other end of the tenon in the bottom of the case, but it must be pinned or nailed. And it's definitely not worth it to start disassembling this case to get it loose. What I'm going to do is work as much glue as I can into here and clamp it into position. And that'll, that way it'll be where I need it to be while I glue this piece on and this piece and the block I'm going to add behind it will give this leg plenty of support. Okay, that's great. Now, tomorrow, after the glue dries, I'll sand this, shape it a little bit more, and be ready to stain it. All right, now I've got to make a, a big glue block to fit here behind my new piece and the leg, uh, and I'll do it uh, similar to the original glue block that I see over here. Okay, I milled up a piece of pine here, and now I'm tracing the outline. I'll also cut this at an angle afterwards to resemble the other one. That looks good. I'll glue this on and then I'll sand that a little bit after I'm done. I'm going to keep moving this back and forth until it grabs, which it is doing. Good. We put the desk up on a bench and now I'm going to plane my new piece and then sand it. I've also can see I've got to I've got to shape this curve a little bit. I got to take some file away or rasp away some wood here to match this curve.
Okay, I've sanded it up to 150. Now I'll uh, stain it with some uh, perfect brown dye stain. Okay, so the stain is dried. Now I'll tape off around that new piece and seal it with shellac. So here you have it. This is a really nice antique Chippendale desk. Uh, what I did was, if you remember, I re-glued these side strips which were getting pushed out of the interior as the side shrunk. And I also, there was a piece missing, a block for this leg. I re-glued the leg and made this new block for the leg. And then I just went over the whole piece with the, uh, some steel wool and the beeswax polish. Yeah, it looks pretty good.